Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with my last fall project. Uh, by the time you see this, it will be um, middle to late fall. And so I wanted to just finish up the fall stuff so that we can move on to Christmas. So today I'm going to be using the um, Whispers of Autumn kit from TaylorMade Journals. Absolutely gorgeous kit. You're only going to see some of the prints here. I'm just going to flip through really quick because I've already cut on some of them, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, gorgeous. I love all the reds and stuff in here and the flowers. And I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the pumpkins, as I've mentioned before, but it is a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm also not a big fan of uh, mushrooms, but um, I might play around with that. I love this image with the bird. And then, so I'm just going to flip through this really quickly so we don't waste a lot of time, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to be making a an envelope journal. So I'm going to show you how I went about it. This is some of the um, fussy cutting. I didn't fussy cut these pages yet. Um, I do believe I have some, which you'll see underneath um, here in just a second. I've already cut all this stuff out once. So tags and all kinds of things. So this is going to be at least a two part video, maybe longer. I'm thinking probably two parts will be sufficient. So what I've got here, oh, and then this is the ephemera. So um, just the things that you just saw there. And uh, we've got some little pockets and things like that. I'll have to um, adjust them to fit because I'm doing a small, a small envelope journal. So these are the panels that I've already cut for all of the sides of this um, of this envelope journal. So I'm going to show you how it's going to make how it's going to work. So I got these little um, these little envelopes that are five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half. So a perfect size. So what I did here is I went ahead and put them together the way I wanted them to be, which I'll show you in a second. I, this is where my signature is going to go. So I did leave a little bit of a, of a spine there. So hopefully that will be um, easy for me to keep track of as we move along. So as it's gone together, or as I put it together, this is what it's going to look like. So it's going to open this way. This is going to be a full panel. So this is going to be covered and we'll be able to do, you know, pockets or whatever on there. And then this opens up and... This is going to be also a full panel because the signature is going to sit right here. And then this opens up this way and we've got um, a full panel here. And I'm going to collage the opening, I mean, the collage this part of this and I'm going to put a piece of paper in there. I thought this was going to go differently. Uh, maybe not. Maybe that's the way I had designed it. Um, I get all turned around. So what I did is I put panel, this is the front panel, panel one, Panel two, panel three, panel five, panel six, panel four. Uh, that should have been on the other side, but that's okay. It's not going to really matter. And paddle, panel seven. So that's what we've done here. So the first thing that we're going to do, obviously, is put our panels together. So I'm going to try to do this in pieces because I tend to get myself very turned around. And I did already score this uh, line, the second line. This is the, the main line. I'm going to move this closer, guys. Um, this is the natural line for the, um, or fold for the envelope, and I made another one here. So I want to be sure that when I stick this in here, I'm only going to this pencil line. So that's the goal. So it doesn't leave a whole lot for it to hold on to other than it's also going to be here. So I'm wondering which I should do first. I guess I should put in, I'm actually going to make some pencil marks on the inside of this so that I know what my, my glue lines are going to be here, just on the sides here. And then I, I haven't done one that's this complex before, but I still wanna really give these away and I just shipped some packages and um, I can't uh, afford to do that all the time because um, it's it's weighty and um, it's a little spendy. So I'm going to kind of um, hone down on what I'm actually sending. Um, and as well, it's the holidays. So I want to be um, cognizant of my my time and, and holiday planning and all of that on in my life. So um, but it still gives me great joy. So I don't want to completely eliminate that 
from my life. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply glue um, on this side of the pencil line. And I'm going to hope that the art glitter glue will be nice to me and I'll be able to get it in there. I'm going to turn it this way so that I can get at it. Um, so I apologize if that's a little bit harder for you, but that way I can kind of hold this open and I can get that in there very, very, very quickly. And then I need to scooch it. I need to make sure it's in the, oh, perfect. That was very, very, very good. So we're just gonna give that a press. Awesome. So again, this is just the construction part. I am going to also um, glue this onto here, I think. No, I was not gonna, you know what? I do need to glue that on because we really need the stability of that, I think. Um, you know what? I think we'll be okay. I wanted to kind of leave this open. I'm not sure what what I wanted to do with it, but let me just play with this. Yeah, because I thought it would be cool to put a closure there. So I think we're going to try to leave that open. So let's leave that alone. And I'm just creasing that again. I'm actually going to ink that edge just so that I don't lose track of it. Kind of. Oh, why isn't this inking? <laughs> Come on. There we go. I think I need to re-ink my, my vintage photo here. There we go. I just want to make sure that I keep, uh, keep my eye on that. So then what we have is I'm going to go ahead and take these off precariously <laughs> and um, see what we've got here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue this envelope, this panel to the back of this. That's a pretty, pretty easy one. But again, I'm leaving a line. I did not fold that. So let me do that really quick. I did not score it. I didn't officially score the other one. I just kind of uh, made a pencil line and then I just did the whole, you know, sharp finger trick just to create kind of a crease line there. I don't need as much there as I do for the spine piece. So I'm just um, giving it, you know, very little space there, just enough to fold over. Come on. Probably would have been easier to just score it, huh? Goodness. <laughs> there we go. Just a little bit. And again, I'm going to go ahead and ink that up there really quick, just so that I can see both of those, those lines there. Like so. I'm going to do that other one one more time because I can't really see it all that great. There we go. That's better. So there we go. So hopefully I haven't already forgotten what I was doing, <laughs> which is very possible. So yeah, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this panel, or I mean this flap onto the back of this card. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go right up to this line. Well, not right up. I'm going to let it have a little bit of breathing room just in case it oozes a little bit. Like so. I just got these at Hobby Lobby. All their Paper Studio stuff is 50% is, um, off right now. And I love to get some assorted craft envelopes there because they're great for doing journals like this. So again, I'm going to turn this so that it's at my advantage. I'm sorry if it's not at yours, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on top of here. And I'm just going to go right to that pencil line, make sure it's nice and straight, and then I'm going to press. So we got some ooze in there, which I expected. So just making sure that I, I retain that gap. Um, I'm going to have to, um, I may, or, um, yeah, uh, shoot. My panel is not going to, my paper panel is not going to co cover all of that, but that's okay. So I'm just going to turn this over and make sure that we're, we're good on this side. It looks a little bit crooked there, but there's not a thing I can do about that now. So we have to just deal with it. It's tricky. So there we've got that and that. And then, um, and then this is there. And then this, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> Where's my panel seven? Oh no, did I turn it over? That's what I did. I always do that. I turn it over and then I get compl 
completely a lost. See, I'm, I'm way off here, way off, but nothing I can do about that. So I'm going to go ahead and unclip this as well. And then this, where was this going? Oh, so that's already all attached. No, this needs to go in here. So again, I'm going to go right to this pencil line um, when I'm gluing this, and I'm just going to slide it in there. In there. Oh, actually, I forgot. Um, let's see. We've got those panel pieces. I want to make sure that we, we should be able to get them in there. I'm not going to be affecting this opening. So we're going to go ahead and glue this in. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a pencil line so that I can see what my glue line will be here. I'm just going to kind of scooch that because I need to straighten that that bit out because we got a little bit crooked on the other one. So, oh goodness gracious. Um, yeah, we're just going to have to work with it, guys. <laughs> I haven't done one that's this complex before, so uh, bear with me. I'm sure that you'll be able to uh, fine-tune it in your own process. So I'm going to put, again, I'm going to put glue here. And if I end up messing up this, these ones that I want to leave open, that I'm leaving the envelope part open, um, we can always close them. It's not a huge deal. I'm mostly using the elephant, the elephants, <laughs> the envelopes for the flaps, because this, this is uh, pretty, pretty um, durable and thick. Um, craft stock envelope. So I'm going to go ahead again and slide this in here. And I'm going to, oh, I'm getting glue everywhere. Come on. Just going to get that in there. I'm going to really quickly make an adjustment to kind of straighten that out because we had a problem before on the other side. So there we go. Let me grab a paper towel here. Oh, noisy, noisy. I'm just going to we can always always improvise. You know, this is all going to be covered. Nobody's really going to pay any m mind to it. So now our folio is. Oops. Oh, that's so crooked, Renee. Okay, we need to we need to rethink this. Okay, this is panel one. This is panel five, but this is crooked. So maybe it just needs to go. It needs to fold backwards which is not a problem, um, except that looks weird. Let's see if we can straighten this manually here. I was being so precise, you know? It's just crooked. It just is crooked. So we've got our little bit of a spine there, which is fine. It's what we wanted. And... Hmm... Gonna have some wonkiness, but I'm okay with wonkiness if you're okay with wonkiness. So it looks like this maybe just needs to go out um, instead of in. Maybe that's how we can solve this problem. Which is fine, which means we might uh, do a full panel. Oh goodness, yeah, yeah. And then this will open like that, like it's on the back. So, and then it's going to go into the signature probably on, uh, into the signature, yeah, probably on this line if I end up putting it in a journal. We'll see. So, again, we're just playing, we're experimenting, so bear with me um, as we move along. So, I'm going to go ahead and glue on, this is panel one, so I went ahead and wrote that on the back. These are double printed just because I do print all my kits um, double now. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and take a few moments and re-ink my inker and ink, do all the inking on these pages, and I'll be back with you, okay? Okay, that inking is done. So I'm just going to set these papers aside, and we're going to start gluing these on. So again, this is panel one. So I'm going to go ahead and use my art glitter glue. I'm going to use the big bottle um, here because... I've got quite a bit of um, landscape here to cover, and I think I want it to go that way. So I'm going to go ahead and just put glue on the back of this, going light on the edges there. Okay. 
And this paper that I printed on, I had run out of my heavier paper, so I believe that this is printed on a 40 pound paper, which is just a nice happy medium between the 60, 65 pound and the regular copy paper that's 20 pound here in the United States. Um, it's just right. So um, it's too thin for some things for me, but for this, it's going to be great. And had I known that I was going to do this, I probably wouldn't have double printed it, but um, I did not know that I was going to use this kit for this reason. So I'm just going to get that on there straight as I can. And just minding that edge. And then just giving that a good push. And then I've got it just right up to that, that line there. So I still got my spine intact. That little folded over area. So that is panel one. So now we're going to do panel two which I believe was this one, this beautiful script with all these autumn words, which I think is adorable. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one on as well. go. So let's get this on making sure that the writing is obviously going the right direction. I'm going to put it right up to that pencil line. I hope you can see that. And then I'm just going to give it a push. There we go. This weight of paper is actually perfect for this because it's going to provide a little bit of structure without being too too heavy. So that's awesome. So then we again, we've got lots of room for that signature there. So my other, I may come in here and put something to, um, to, um, when I, maybe when I do my spine, I'll do something to, to, oh my goodness, to reinforce that little area there, because that's going to be, that's going to take the most stress there. So this is for panel three, which is, um, this one beautiful pattern here. So we're going to put this on here. Perfect. Gosh, I'm going to try to pick this up and see if that works better. I feel like I'm fumbly fingers here. Comes out really fast out of this big bottle, so I have to be careful of that. There we go and put that one down. This one's not directional, so I don't have to worry about that. And then we're just putting it right up to that pencil line. Perfect. My cutting seems to be on par today. <laughs> this took a long time to prep because I, I just cannot do all the cutting on camera because I get too kind of discombobulated. I'm still all new to me and and so many pieces. I think I want to go ahead and cut a piece to put here. Let me find see if I've got a scrap that will fit there. That's the right length. Um, hold on. Oh, this one would be perfect. This is another piece of that. So let me um, mark this so that I can um, go ahead and cut it and glue it in here. Just so that we have a little bit more stability for this piece. So let me um, let me cut this really quick. With my hopefully my guillotine will do it. Oh, that's not going to work. I don't have enough space to work with here. So let me see if this one will work. Probably not because I I won't be able to hold it. <laughs> oh goodness, Renee. Let's see. Hopefully I can. You gonna stay put? Good enough for me. <laughs> The ghetto way. Come on. Oh, don't blade. Don't do this to me. There we go. So there we've got that little piece. Was that the wrong piece? Is this the right piece? This is the right piece. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim that there. Thanks for letting me do this right now because I don't want to forget and I really think it's going to help that to really be more stable. So Better, better do it now. Things fall out of my brain on a regular basis. 
Okay, so this time I'm gonna put the glue right in here. I'm using the, my little applicator. It's such a little space. I don't wanna to get too much glue in there. And I'm just gonna put that strip in there. I didn't ink it or anything, it's not gonna show. So there we go. Perfect, so let's see. Make sure that our, we're not being affected. That looks to be good. I'm gonna just fold it. Doesn't seem to be catching there, so that's good. Awesome, glad I did that. So now we're gonna do panel five, which is our beautiful sunflower. We're gonna put it on this panel. Okay, and got it. make sure it's going the right direction here, and I'm just going to place it down, give it a little bit of a straightening there. Looks to be good. I'm going to go ahead and give it a press. My paper towel. Mm -hmm. I love it. And I still have that little bit of a gap there for um, some bulk there. So there we go. And so now we have panel. I thought I had another panel that I did not want to, that I wanted to collage. Maybe I had changed my mind. So the idea on this one was to go ahead and put this piece in here and then collage the rest of it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that just because it sounds like fun. So let me go ahead and slide this in. I think I had another one and I must have changed my mind and decided not to do a second collage piece, but it's easier for me to just collage it versus um, try to cut a piece there, especially when this was all like, I could probably do it now. In fact, I might. Um, when all the pieces were not connected, I kept, like it kept moving and stuff for me to try to get a piece of paper in there to cut that section out. So that's kind of why I didn't do that. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this towards me a little bit so I can get this in here. Hopefully I can, sorry for my arm guys. Hopefully I can be quick and quick as a jackrabbit here. Get that in there, in, 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 in. Art glitter glue is not very forgiving in terms of uh, time. You don't have a lot of time to readjust. So that worked out really well. So let's see, maybe we do want to just get another piece of paper and go ahead and um, just do a full piece on there. I think I want to do that. So let's see what we have here. Um, let's see. I'm going to have to get another piece out from the kit. This one would be lovely, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and just cut this really quick and I'll be right back with you. Okay, <clears throat> I have a piece cut down to at least the right height here to be able to fit in here. So I'm just making sure that I don't have any glue, wet glue here before I stick this piece of paper in. And then I'm just going to trace around that edge. So let me just stick this in here. I'm going to get it all the way to the end because I want to make sure it's actually going to cover that whole panel. So that looks to be good. So I'm just going to trace around here. Maybe. <laughs> there we go. Goodness gracious, Renee. I can erase pencil lines if they're too, too dark. So let me just fussy cut this out really quick. I wanna, I'm gonna go on the other side of the pencil line as much as I can, just to allow a little bit of leeway there. Come in from. I'm going to go ahead and chop this off here. Now, I 
have to go to the left for some reason when I cut. I always want my paper to the left of my cut. My scissors. That's just my pre preference. So there we go. Come on, a little bit more. <laughs> paper gets in the way. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just erase these pencil lines really quick. Sorry if that's off camera. There we go. Let's see how, see how good we did. <laughs> we'll have to ink this up though. It looks pretty darn good. Um, it's not perfect. But you know what? Nothing really ever is. So let's get up here. Oh, it looks like it's pretty good. I just have to think about where exactly I'm going to place it in proximity to that. So I'll just be scooching it a little bit. So I'm just going to ink this really quick. I love it when I just re-inked my pad because it's so dark. I love it. I like heavy inking. That really vintage look. This kit. I forgot how gorgeous this kit is. I bought it a little while ago and I didn't. I just got done using her Winter Magic kit and created a, a folio out of um, Amazon packaging. And hopefully that will be something that I can share with you guys. So we're going to go ahead and glue that on. I'm glad I did that. That is perfect with that, in, that inner thing that I did. So let's go ahead and get some glue on here. Actually, let me move this so that I don't. Always add more glue around the edges if we didn't get enough. It's coming out really fast. There we go. Bring this baby back. Get her on here. So again, I'm focusing more on where this is landing here so that it actually covers that brown completely. So like so. And oh, that was a perfect cut. Love it. Doesn't happen all the time. <laughs> Doesn't happen all the time at all. There we go. I've got a little bit of, um, of it showing here, but I'll, when that's nice and dry, I'll trim that up a little bit. Um, you can see that there. My, my rounding didn't work very well there, so but I'll wait until that's a little bit drier. So there we've got that, and that's perfect because we can stick stuff in this direction. It's harder. I'm not going to do the same with this because it makes it difficult to get things in those spaces. So the last piece of paper we have, oh, where's all my other paper? I didn't cut enough. Huh. Um, when I break to go make dinner and pause the camera or stop at part one, I will go ahead and cut the other panels. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't want that one there. So I think I was going to do part panel four was going to be one of those collage bits too. But let's just go ahead. I'm not, this is not my favorite one. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put it here on the back. So and then we'll we'll break. Uh, I'm not gonna um, pause to part two yet. I'm just gonna go pause and go make some dinner for my husband and cut some more paper and be back with you. So I hope that you're enjoying it. I hope you give it a try. Um, I love work, love using envelopes. I love finding creative ways to have lots of folds and tucks and things like that. So. It's my favorite part of this process. So there we've got that on there. Let me give that a rub with my paper towel. And I'm going to pause and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, friends, I am back. So I prepared dinner all out of the way. Yay. Um, while I was off camera, I went ahead and cut a piece for this um, front panel as well. Um, I went ahead and just cut it the the length, the height. Well, I thought I cut it the height. It looks like I have another cut to do here. Hang on. Um, hmm. 
I think we're going to be okay. I'm going to glue it on and then cut around it. Um, yeah, but I am going to score it <clears throat> at this, um, cause I, we remember when we did that piece in here, I want to do the same here. So, oh, we have to have a piece on both sides. Huh? Interesting. So we're going to do that. So anyway, I need to score it. So let me just, I didn't do that, um, off when I was off camera. So I'm just going to make a mark here. And then I'm not going to score it, score it. I'm just going to fold it like I did the other pieces. So hopefully I can see my line there. Just want to reinforce again that that's where our signature is going to be held in. So I want to be sure that that's nice and secure. So there we go. So I'm going to have to cut another piece of this. But I thought it would be a good complement to the dark in that. So I'm going to go ahead and just fold this both ways here. And um, we're going to go ahead and put this on here. And then I'm going to cut around it. So like so. Actually, um, yeah, I'm just going to do that. And, and this is going to take us a little while because I, I forgot that I needed another piece. We need the inside and the outside, and I, I just completely spaced that. So I'm going to go ahead and um, put glue all along here. Oops, I left my art glitter glue open while I went to make dinner. It's not a good, not a good idea. There we go. Oh, ouch. Don't poke yourself. <laughs> Hopefully I won't bleed on my project. I'm just going to get a bunch of glue on here. Oh, there's a lot going on there now. That'll all ooze out and be okay. You just have to make sure that you check all those places that it shouldn't glue to make sure that it's not, it's not affecting any of those places. So, and I really want to um, stabilize that, that full, that extra signature space that we've got going on there. I'm just going to scoot this over so I can only have to cut it off of one edge. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to turn this over so I can get a look at it on this side and give it a press. Kind of a backwards way to do it, but it doesn't really matter as long as it gets done, right? There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. always hard this angles hard when you're holding a bunch of stuff with that with your hands and I'm not very good at the turn so <laughs> true confessions I also don't do things that are backwards or reversed it doesn't work in my mind it really confounds me I don't know north south east from west my kids give me a hard time about directions because I don't I have like a child's way of trying to understand it. I've never been able to do that. I've been directionally challenged my whole life. So kind of a silly thing. So there we've got that. So that is going to go this way. And it's going to bend on that other crease. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So it's there, It's that's the first crease, and then this is the second crease. So can you see that? So we've got our spine. In fact, I thought I had inked that, but maybe maybe my ink was too light before I re-inked my pad. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that again, just so that we can make sure when we get ready to put a signature in that we can see all that. And then that one's already marked because of the paper on the other side. So now we're going to, well, um, you know what, I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to, uh-oh, what did we do? Oh, goodness, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I did that wrong. So, we're going to have to improvise because I think I did that fold wrong. So let me go ahead and crease this here, see what I did. 
Yeah, I don't know what we did here. I think I just didn't make it big enough, which is okay. So this is our true crease. We'll have to mess with that after we get the other piece of paper on. Sorry. <laughs> Thought I had this all figured out in my mind, but it's all pliable. So we're gonna just um, continue to work it until it is what we want. So, because actually that should be glued. Well, we're not gonna glue it though. That's why I'm having trouble with it is because this isn't actually going to be glued on. I wanted that to be an open flap. So, um, so now we need to do the other piece. So let me get another piece of paper here. Hopefully I can just um, put this on here and then um, we'll have to figure out our folds again. I'm not, again, I'm not concerned about, well, that's what we were just talking about though. I think I do wanna cover the whole thing here. So we're gonna cut all the way to this, this place and then we'll, we're just gonna recrease when we get to that point. So um, we'll have a little bit of pliability because the, the glue will keep the paper wet. And so we'll be able to kind of bend a little bit. This is probably not, the best way to do this, but I didn't think about all of that um, before I started. So we're just gonna improvise, which is, is good. It's a gift actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there, get it right up to there, and I'm gonna give it a good push. It probably would have been a better plan to score everything exactly how you wanted it before doing all this step. So there we go. So now we're lined up with that, this edge, which is the fold edge. So I think that's gonna be a lot better. So let me go ahead and cut this off as well. I'm just gonna cut the bulk of this off so it's easier to deal with here. I love this dark blue paper though. I think it's really stunning. going to be done here shortly. Probably will choose my signatures off camera, uh, the papers that I want to go in the signature, and, um, and get that all um, prepped. And then when we do part two, we'll go ahead and put the signatures in, and then we will put our pockets and all of our bits in. So there we go. So let's see what we've got going on here. It's so turned around. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, so this folds this way, and so we need this to be creased at the same level, at the same point as this. So I'm going to try to try to do that here. Not too hard at all. I'll show you here what I mean in case my gibberish is not making any sense. So what we've got going on here is we have, this is our spine for the signature and I'm gonna to have to get some more glue in there. Or maybe I'll put some ribbon or something there to, or some lace, we'll see. Um, but I'll probably put some more glue on there just to help that to be a little bit more sturdy. So there we go. And then we've got, um, what, two more panels to put on and then we'll be done with part one. So I did decide to go ahead and put, uh, choose the same, um, the same uh, paper as we had on that other piece. So I need to ink this really quick. I didn't do that while I was off camera. So give me a second to ink these two pieces. I will probably um, pick some of this paper to put in the signature because it's gorgeous. I don't want anything too dark uh, other than, you know, I'll, I'll pick some stuff from my stash too, just to have some, some kind of different um, vintage stuff in there. And then we'll put that together in the next video. And then in the, at the end of the next video, we'll announce the, the giveaway facts. And if you are interested, you like what this is looking like, you can go ahead and throw your name in the hat, so to speak, by leaving a comment. I do ask that you actually are really clear in your comments that you actually want the piece. 
um, so that I don't miss you um, because I'm looking for people that actually want it. People leave lovely comments, but that doesn't necessarily mean they want the project. So uh, please let me know why, uh, why you that you want it and why you want it, and that will help me to know who to add into the drawing. So the last drawing I did was on the Summer Memories Journal, and I was it was unfortunate that the first the first person I drew didn't didn't get back to me so I, I gave the person a week to uh, message me and give me their um, you know contact information so I could send it and they never did and, and I put that comment in every video and in on every video and and they didn't get back to me so I did did do a redraw this last on, on well not last Sunday I'm um, ahead on my my filming so on the 31st I did the redraw so there's that one. We have one more panel and then we're done. I did go ahead and pull this one out. It's not my favorite, but you know, I'm growing, learning and growing. So I went ahead and used it. So let's just get this glued on and then we'll, we'll part ways for a little while. Just for a little while. For a little while it might be still tonight for me, but for you it'll be another day. My goal is to be completely done with um, everything, um, gratitude, Thanksgiving by uh, the last week in, probably before Thanksgiving, I'd like to be done with that stuff so I can move on to Christmas. Not that I'm not working on Christmas already, but as far as filming, I haven't done any Christmas pro projects yet. There we go. So there she is. The beauty of this folio. I love it. So it's going to fold over. It's going to close here. And oh, that's quite interesting, isn't it? So I could actually put a Velcro here and just have a Velcro closure on that. Or I could do a button. I'll probably do a button closure and then do a, um, you know, wrap around here um, because that will allow me to... Um, yeah, I like that. I like that look. So as you can see, we've got a good gap here, but we might run into problems here. So I'm going to have to go kind of because I should have made this spine the same uh, as the other one. Well, I actually kind of did, but it's not really showing that. So we'll see how much she's able to expand. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I like it. So um, I will be back with you with part two where we put the signatures in and do a little bit of decorating. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.